Hello, beautiful people. This is Sudhama, your communication coach. I'm back again with my pep talk. Be spoken and be heard, pep talk. Yes, today we have a very interesting personality all the way from, he will be letting us know. But have you ever wondered, we have our teachers to educate our kids, to make us more enlightened with knowledge. But who would make teachers aware of the new normal technologies who would make them proficient in using different tools in technology driven classrooms well we definitely need a digital coach that's what i thought on and today i have a very interesting guest who would be talking mostly related to teaching with technology and yes, lot many things that he's going to disclose with us. Well, and he's currently taking care of the faculty training, student welfare events and branding activities at VIT Andhra Pradesh branch, uh, Amravati campus. He is a Wipro and Dale Carnegie certified master trainer. He is a passionate life skill trainer, a motivational coach, and so many things. He has won lots of awards and rewards. And he has conducted more than 100 training, teacher training programs for orientations and different other activities, which he will be speaking about. But let me invite Dr. Samuel Johnson. Dr. Samuel, welcome to Thank the you. talk. Thank you. Thank you, Sudaji. Thank you. It's an honor for me to <clears throat> be on your show. You've been very passionate. I've, I've also seen your previous other uh, interviews. You brought different people from all over the globe. Right. Uh, we really congratulate you and you're doing an amazing job. It's an honor for us. We are humbled to be in your talk show from BITAP University. Thank you, sir. The privilege is all mine also too. Thank you. So from a professor of varied roles and providing technology driven, you know, training programs for teachers, mm. you have uh, had a great extensive journey with teachers and learning a lot yeah. of things. So how did yeah. this journey started? Oh, yeah. So this, uh, I guess it is in, in the genes and the family because my grandfather, uh, he was a headmaster. You know, uh, I hail from a small village called Pasivadala. My address is pretty simple. Pachin Godavar Zilla, Kaur Madalam, Pasivadala Kran. It's West Godavar District, Kaur Madalam. It's a small village near Rajamandri or Kaur. Right. And my grandfather was a headmaster. So you know, being a headmaster, you know, the whole village, you know, they, and my mother was a teacher, you know, oh. so my grandmother was a teacher. So if we're from a teaching community, right? but I happened to go and study, did my master's and MBA and all that. But uh, yeah, after my MBA, I worked in a company called Mafoy, which is now called Ranstead in Chennai. Okay. It's, Ranstead, it's, it's one of the biggest HR uh, consulting and training companies. So I landed up in training. So, okay. uh, so it was into corporate training and all the stuff. Right. And that is where uh, they told me, hey, why don't you fit, you fit more into the, you have something called, you know, yeah, teaching. And why don't you get into the university side and where you can train a lot of people. And in 2007 and eight, when we were training the, you know, through uh, Mafoy, we used to go to VIT University Bellor. Okay. And yes, uh, that opportunity clicked off and from there, there's no turning back. So after joining VIT University, it's now 13th year going on in Vellore in Tamil Nadu. Okay. Yeah. So training teachers, I thought, mm -hmm. you know, rather than training one student, if you train a teacher, they will definitely train 10,000 students in their lifetime. I'm talking about if you teach 30 years, right? Yeah, you calculate average, you'll touch minimum eight to 10,000 students. Absolutely. Anybody. Anyone. Right. So if you can catch the root, the fruit is sweet. You get the point? So okay. I thought, you know, why don't I go, go to the root of the issue and then start training teachers. True. So I, I did my master's in Karunia in Coimbatore. Okay. So I, I, I studied in different places and that gave me a little awareness. Yeah. Uh, so in Karunia in Coimbatore, it's an amazing place. It's, right. They taught us you know, everything, how to work, how to, how to be a human being. Okay. And that's where I learned that it's not important just to pass in academics. Mm -hmm. But you need to have a pass in life. Oh. So to make teachers make that message to students. Right. Because students are not that open to the parents, but students are open to the teachers. So I thought, why don't they try that? And I'm working on it. Yeah. Right. That's how it all started. 
So how was the journey so far? Oh yeah, it's it's amazing. We've it, it's good to see a lot of young new teachers saying, "Hey, uh, I never knew this, but I know this now. I'm doing this in my teaching methodology." You know, okay. because uh, uh, I believe in the phrase which says, "Students uh, see you before they receive you." You oh. understand? Yes. They yes. see the teacher first. What right. is a teacher? How is she talking? What is the knowledge? What is the way of talking? Right. You know, they see Absolutely. you. So if you can groom the teachers, so my journey has been all on grooming, right. not on the beauty of it. I'm talking about the intellectual grooming. I'm talking about technology grooming. And right. uh, mostly now, because I'm more into the education technology, I also you know, uh, <clears throat> have this master's in uh, MA in uh, you know, education. Okay. Um, so oh, that helped me to understand that education and technology, if it works together, Right. It will be a deadly combination. Right. But now I realize that in pandemic, it is a boom. Yeah. Yeah. So, so true. So true. Yeah. So you have integrated education with technology. So that the yes. professor is grooming the entire future through the yes. teachers. Through the teachers. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. You just spoke about the pandemic and we all know how badly we have hit. Yet there is one domain that still is sparkling. That is education. So, uh, mm -hmm. and the teaching is right, right now remotely done. So, what are the sure shot? Because you worked with teachers, you are into MA education, and you are quite aware of the challenges for the teachers. So, what are the sure shot uh, aspects every teacher should upskill in this new normal scenario? Good, good. That, that's that's a that's a good uh, question, Sudha. My my answers are pretty simple. My answers are more in one line. Okay. My answer is we are teaching a digital generation students. True. So a digital generation students, when they're taught, the teacher should be having a little idea of digital generation tools. Right. Because the teacher is not a digital generation. So anyone who was born after 2000, they're called as digital natives. Okay. Anyone who was born before 1990 are called digital immigrants. So I'm an immigrant, you know, I am not a digital native, right. but I'm teaching a digital native. So I put this in a very lighter tone to answer your question. Mm -hmm. uh, we are teaching a 5G generation student, 5G. Right, right. Right, yeah. With a 3G technology. Right. By a 2G teacher. Oh. With a 1G curriculum. And a no G technology. <laughs> Getting the point. So there is, oh. there is a huge, huge, I'm trying to bring a huge gap. I know. So I know. if we bridge this gap and technology and education, where I need to thank my university at VIT University. We are, we can say, yeah, we are you know, on the top always in an IRF ranking. Right. And we wish that we train a lot. Even in this pandemic, I, I sure I've crossed more than 13,000 from March 28th till now, when I see the database. Right. We've crossed more than 13,000 school teachers, college teachers, higher education, right. uh, give them a lot of free programs and all this right. stuff. So you understand the gap. That is the need Absolutely. of the hour. Right. Need of the hour is we have to be digital tech savvy. Okay. And no age is, uh, uh, there's no age for learning technology. Right. There's no specialization. Some people think, sir, uh, uh, I'm from English language. Right. Say, sir. Right. I'm from Hindi, my Pandit home. Mm -hmm. I'm from mathematics, mm -hmm. but I don't know computer science. It, right. it is, there's no need. Right. Age is only number anybody can learn at any age. So we teach tools and I feel the answer to your question is everyone should be digital technology because we are teaching a digital generation. So true. So you are making everyone tech savvy because they have to survive, sustain and to take forward the, you know, the, the big, bigger task of yes. education, right? One yes. Beautiful. So viewers, if you are a teacher, Please make a note. It's coming from right from the mouth of the professor who knows the ins and outs of digital coaching, right? Well, uh, Samuel, sir, uh, like you've been talking about technology and mind mapping happened to come into you know, lots of uh, yeah, yeah. So how can teachers take full power of uh, this mind mapping concepts? How can they use it in their classroom? Yeah, so see, if you go to the root of mind mapping, it's from Tony Buzan, you know, who's right. the founder. But I feel every teacher should know uh, at least the technology online mind mapping. There are a lot of, you know, I map tools, mind map tools and all open source tools. Mm -hmm. If a teacher knows mind mapping technology, 
they can do a revision of the entire course in one sheet wow. right so mind mapping why mind mapping is our brain doesn't like to learn linear right our brain doesn't like to learn linear our right. brain is you know wired you getting the point Absolutely. so yes, it yes. likes images it likes colors it likes visual you know, when when you see a new place you like so many things right right so it's it's so our brain cannot learn linearly right. so that's when my mind comes a picture a image a, a color you know so all this can be done mm -hmm. and i wish every teacher know we're doing a lot of workshops we can even put it on your link down and then give them and right. it's very important mind mapping is very important right yeah. so uh, do you think it will change the whole scenario of learning mind mapping for yeah. students mind mapping from perspective yeah mind mapping will accelerate the learning okay change or doesn't change it depends on the individual of course yeah. yeah it will definitely accelerate for example if i'm not able to by heart everything but at least i can have a glance of the whole thing right yeah yeah so there are a lot of collaborative tools online tools right where you can make your own mind map you know right and do it amazing yeah so you you are assisting all the teachers with these concepts i guess yes yes how challenging was it how challenging was it to teach students? it is challenging because sometimes teachers say sir i have never taught online right not their mistake it because they, there was no need they used to go to college there is a chalk there is a talk there is a whiteboard there is a marker maximum there is a projector you get in the point right but uh, some people say sir the when i catch the mouse you know when i try to write it goes beyond kanyakumari you get the point so we are not used to it right. so we have to encourage teachers right you know wherever any teacher if you are listening to this you can be a digital hero digital heroine right, right. you can be right. only thing is thoda sa practice in anything you need you need a practice yeah. so you need to practice i guess we should never underestimate our teachers they are very quite active learning right Yep. they're learning every day they're learning they don't want to be remain back well here comes few statements and misconceptions related to teaching or educators would you love to debunk them some myths let's see <laughs> yes so uh, this is like since you've been with vit engineering and different campuses so here comes a question backlogs are common how true is it i'm sorry back backlogs are common errors are common can we uh, backlogs in the courses yes for students yes for students oh, yeah 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 see uh, backlogs are common now when you see the world of recruitment right google ibm microsoft they've given you just google whatever i'm saying now anyone they have removed the word qualification for applying right so all that they need is skill set now okay so even if there is backlog but if your skill sets are cool industry right. still take you because industry needs skill sets right right but yes uh, arrear is not good for career especially in india right especially in india right because our society is different right the outlook is different so arrears are common especially when you see first year there's a lot of I you know school to college transition right because we have uh, our viewership with the uh, student community so who are watching us would be taking a word from you since you are doing mm -hmm. career counseling and mm -hmm. management things right so here comes for you like you've been online and lots of stuff so online teaching will eventually replace a teacher how true is this this is a misconception no, no? there is a misconception that technology will replace teachers right but that's wrong can i tell you why yes go ahead who is going to use who is going to use technology teacher then how will technology be replaced by teacher right even though teacher is going to use technology bus kon use karega bhai wo to teacher hi to hai teacher has to be used teacher ne kada wade de right so right. teacher so my statement is technology cannot replace teachers right but teachers who do not use technology yes. will be replaced by the teachers who use technology right double code samuel johnson yes in double code got it right so um this is something that the next statement which i quite heard when i counsel my students on english accent um, mm. i heard somewhere that you also carry the same thought so you are defined by where you are from how yes. true is this 
where you come from. You define from where you come from, yeah? There are two statements for that. One, your background has got nothing to do with your foreground. Right. Two, your past has got nothing to do with your future. True. Okay. But if your past has got so much that it's affecting your future, then you need to definitely work on that. Okay. You're getting the point? Yeah. Yes. yes. So I, I wish that we need to work on our, on our you know, language, right. especially my humble request to all the viewers is you have to make your language neutral. See, I am from Pachingo Dajila. Right. You know, if you go to my place, you know, they sing, we sing. Right. We have a singing tune. Right. Okay, you know, we sing. Right. Now, I can't say the same thing in English. Right. Getting the point. Yeah. So, when, when, when I give my communication coaching programs to anyone, I just tell them, if you speak English in such a way that people should never identify you from mm -hmm. where you belong to. Right. Neutral. Because see, number one, all the viewers should understand, English is not our mother tongue. Yes. English is not our birth language. Right. English is not our continent language. Right. It has come from somewhere. So sure. definitely it is a challenge. But it's not impossible. Right. It is a challenge. It's not impossible. So don't try to put too much of accent. For example, I know a lot of students who just go abroad, you know, for a, know. Week, for a year and come back. By the time they come back, they say, hey, what a bottle, you know, my mom, I say, I'm the internet. <laughs> Because they go to home and they say, am I, you know, you get getting the point? Yes, yes. No need to put too much of, you know, accent trying to impress and suppress your background. Right. Simple is learn how to neutralize, right. talk. I used to have Walkman those days, you know, I'm talking about uh, early 2000, right. 1999 when I just started my UGPG. Uh, I used to have a second hand Walkman because my father couldn't afford a new one. Record right. voice, listen, record. At the mundo, you know, stand in front yeah, of the yeah. People used to make mock of me. People used to make fun of me. Right. But now they say, uh, Mama, tu kaha chile gaya? Nuh, yakru kubayal paya. And I tell them, no, agar hai kuku. You get in the point. So you should never, ever feel shy. Right. You know, the reason is, it's your life. It's right. your language. It's your job. It's your personality. Right. So whenever I talk, I don't need to put any accent. I just speak English like English. Because right. I am from India, so I may have a hard language, I may have a hard background, but I should not talk, you know, coming, ah, going, ah, sir, ah, you know, you get in the point, right? Uh, generally, people from Andhra, we have this a typical different accent, you know. Uh, sir is coming, ah, varast, varast food, varald kapwe, you know, I am box, you. So these are some of the things we need to work Right. And I am sure if you can work on the neutral accent, right. definitely it will be a enough. Either you go to US, you go to Europe, you travel, you will understand. If a French is speaking English, right. it's different. A Spanish speaking English is different. A Mexican speaking English is totally different. But right. still they talk like that only. Right. But still they're working, they're having jobs, they're growing. How come they're growing? They're not speaking like American. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So then never feel, never feel worried. Is my. Yeah. So what's your identity that cannot be hidden? I guess you have to hold your roots. That's yeah. Right. I always say if your root is strong, your fruit is sweet. Right. Yeah. I get. The root is I strong. Yeah. yeah. You should know where you belong to. Right. I know I belong to a village. I know I belong to a, a family of farmers. I know I belong to a family of people who work. My father said, I'm talking about, my mother said, we're educated, they were teachers and all the stuff. But my mother, my father said, all oh, the uh, agriculturist. That's all, you have to work in fields. Right. Yeah. So that is in my mind that, hey, those people worked hard, slogged hard, right. put their sweat and blood for me. Right. So today, you know, that I took a lot of programs. I'm putting this tie today, it's colorful, but my grandfather, grand, great grandparents had Gosu. Gosu got Punadol. That was Teladi, the Adi Gosu and Pine got Punadol. You're getting the point. There's no difference. Right. But why I'm saying this? Because I'm admitting that I'm from that place. 
Right. Many people, what happens, the minute they go to city, they say, hey, I'm from so-and-so, I'm from Hyderabad, I'm Vizag. Everybody is from that small place. Right. So background should never be forgotten. Right. But background should never pull you to go to the foreground. Exactly. Right. Beautiful thoughts. That's why people really love your interactive sessions, I guess. You keep people hooked up with your phrases, rhymings yeah. and all mm -hmm. that. That's the one crazy thing. Crazy talent that you have, which we'll be talking on. But here comes a question for uh, our viewers who are mostly student communities. Since we all speak about right to education, but how about mm. right education? And now that uh, job seekers in, the, in this pandemic, there's a different kind of skill set they have to develop. Any suggestions for student communities uh, for upgrading themselves okay. for career development? Yeah. See, the word employability, employability, if you split it, mm -hmm. it's a true word, employability, E-M-P-L-O-Y-A-B-I, you know, employability, right. spelling. Right. So I tell in all my career counseling that you need to have your ability to get yourself employed. That is the meaning of employability. Right. So many people say, sir, Rajman, you have a job, you have a job, you have a you know, that's how they say. It right. doesn't mean that there are 100 employability chances there. Right. There are a thousand people who are applying for that. But do you have the ability mm -hmm. to get employed? Mm -hmm. right. And that is what is called employability. For that, you need to have skills more than anything else. So I wish during this pandemic, mm -hmm. people know a little bit how to work online, how to work remote, how to work right. technology based, a little bit, you know, basics. And I wish uh, if there's any student here, uh, one language, two skills, three, Excel, you know, working on Excel, right. MS Excel. MS Excel is, uh, I, I put a pun statement saying in my one of my quotes, I, I write a lot of quotes, it's there on my website. Right, so, right. Um, one of the best quotes is, if you want to excel in life, you need to master Excel. Okay. Yeah, because you learn so many languages in, in program, in, in BTEC or degree or BSc, BCom or whatever. But when you go to the company, you say everybody works on Excel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. But, then, but, but nobody teaches Excel. So thankfully, at our university, we are offering it MS Excel as a two credit course from the beginning. Okay. Because lifelong, you have to know. Excel. How to work. Works. So, Life is on Excel. <laughs> yes. Anywhere you go to airport, you go anywhere. You see people before boarding the flight, after they'll open and keep filling the data sheets. Why? Right? Numbers. Yeah. So that's my okay. request. Yeah. So Excel will make you excel in your life. Yeah. Yes. Right. So how about it for international employability? Uh, any word on that? What oh, yeah. Uh, 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 any one lot thing? Of, lot of international opportunities depends country to country. You get okay. in the point. For example, now in New Zealand and Australia. See, I have my, my hmm. friends everywhere and traveling has become my, you know, hobby and I'm bored over it. So after traveling so much and getting to see the world, we understand that every country has their ways of doing it. Yeah. Right. So for example, if you want to get jobs in Africa, mm -hmm. uh, you have to be a passionate person who is beyond academics, who is uh -huh. beyond like, you need to go with their passion. You know, those guys are like, they just can't stand, you know, they're like that. Okay. You want to go to UK, you need to be very serious. Right. right. Now the... New Zealand, Australia, if at all you want jobs, first round, I'm talking about last three months in pandemic, uh -huh. first round is they're sending you case studies in Excel. Okay. They say, if you're able to crack this Excel sheet problem, then only you're selected for the second round. See, I'm giving you scenarios. Right, yeah? right. Absolutely. You want to go to US, Canada, English compulsory. Yes. And especially you're from a brown skin, so you need to know the word that, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. And you just can't be international jobs. See, for many, it's a dream. Like, uh, And here, uh, it's a good question, Sudha. I want to tell audience, uh, gone are the days where America, America, I'm not against it. It's a wonderful country. I have all my friends, a lot of people working and all this stuff. You know, amazing place. Right. But what I'm trying to tell people is, there's not just dream America. Yeah. Just below America, there's something called Panama. There's Mexico. Mexico. There's Venezuela. Right. Yeah, there's this Chile, there's Argentina. You know how many jobs are there? Right. My junior, who's from Vijayawada, right. 
All right, join PCS. Now he's in Mexico. He says, Anna, yeah. all right, yeah. chill, chill, next 20 years, cool. Right. All right, because there's more scope for him. Yeah. But if you go to you, there's a competition for him. Right. So we need to understand uh, here, I want to tell them, if you want to get into international employability, you need to know, you need to find a market where there's a gap for you in your specialization. Mm -hmm. And you need to also have a gap in the, and you should also have a gap in the market. Okay. I don't know your understanding. You don't understand the market in the gap and you need to fit the gap in the market. And that is called closing the deal in international level. So yeah. we are talking on an international perspective, employability and much more, especially regarding yeah. where one has to pin their you know, choice of working. Yes. For example, in India, you ask any student, uh, what do you want to eat in the restaurant? Anything. There's, there's nothing or anything in the menu. Right. Show That's me right. any menu in a restaurant or a hotel says anything. Right. You need to be specific. I need idli, I need dosa, I need french fries, I need a burger with sandwich, you know, whatever. Right. So you need to be specific. Right. Yeah. When will students get this clarity when you work with them on career management? When will students sorry. usually see their career so clearly? Because everything till they complete their engineering, they're not really sure where they stand. When will students get that clarity? I wish they, uh, unlike in our university, we have something called career orientation. Right. Career anxiety, career orientation from the first year. Right. Uh, we have something called career roadmap program. So right. I do a three day program on career roadmap. So okay. from the beginning, how and where, because in a road, you know, if at all I have to come from here in Vijayawada to Rajamandri, there is a highway, there is a short way, there is a long way. So I need to know how to come there. There may be blocks, but to reach from A to B, you know, there are so many ways. Now, I want to tell people that there's a multidisciplinary talent which is needed. Right. A multidisciplinary talent right. will take you to amazing places. Don't think that fourth year or the final year I will go for placement. Ah, right. And that is the time I'll see my career. From the first year, you know, write down, draw, you know. I have my notes. I keep I keep writing. I don't know. You can see. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, September is full. <laughs> the full calendar. I, I keep writing, you know, right. anything is come immediately. I write, I have a notes. Okay. Right. Uh, I don't know whether you can so see show us. People should see what you do. Okay. To do list. I have to do this. I have to work. Right. See, I should not feel shy. You're getting the point. Yeah. Because it's my job. Okay. Entrepreneurship. Can you see that? Yeah. <laughs> Some primary data. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, wow. any quotations I get, I just write it down. I have colors, which okay. is important. Wow. So, you have to do this work. Right. It's not that okay, I'm a professor, uh -huh. I'm doing this. No, no, no. Your job, your life, your things. We need to document each and everything that we do. Yes. It should be in written, right? Yes, ma'am. Because you know what in India, Sudha? Mm -hmm. Plans are plenty, results are empty. Plans are plenty. I want to do this. I want to do this. You would have seen a lot of students. Man, yeah, yeah. I, want to I want to do IELTS. I want to do this. Can I arrange it? So results are empty. Right. So I say keep less plans, but do more. Right. Yeah. That's smart way of working for the new normal scenarios. Yes. Like yes. You've been speaking so many things. Uh, the quote in the color uh, written, right? So, uh, and you're very active on social media with your YouTube videos and... Wow, you are huge. Like people re really love you for many things, but one such is for your quotes. Every mm. day I see some quote coming from your, you know, keep updating. So where do you get that inspiration to, you know, come up with quote, quote, mm. quotes and you say somebody was asking me, how do you get this, you know? Yeah. So it's an art. you should share the art, the secret behind it. <laughs> it's an art, but there's a there's a method to the madness. Okay. One, there are two things for a vehicle. There's mm -hmm. something called self-start. Right. Gadi hai, two-wheeler, self-start. Right. Self-start is not working, you kickstart. Start, okay. If kickstart is not working, you ask somebody to push. Right. It happens on the car, it happens on the bike. Right. Yes or no? Yes, Sudhaji? absolutely. So I'm telling that everyone just sitting, eating, gummani, itakurdo, kukuni. You get in the point? You need to have a self-start in life. Self-start. Hey, I need to be somebody. I don't need to be anybody. Okay. I want to be someone. I don't want to be anyone. If you want to be someone, 
you need to keep thinking what do i do today so i have targets in my life every week i'm not a great writer but yes i i have written so much and i test it i put it on the social media people say wow this is so true this is so nice yeah. and i go five you're going to so i have a target every week one all right but whenever i get a thought i write it so you need to consciously be tough self discipline to do what you want to do okay. see many people dream dream they say apj abdul kalam told mm-hmm. dream hey apj said dream he never told you to sleep and dream right that's day dreaming you need to do work so how do i write it you are saying what is your passion self start okay i need to know my target i need to write so today i came out with one quote and it's not still out but it will be there no come on break it out break it out <laughs> yeah it's a, it just came today right. all right it's like in in education because you're interviewing an educator right. in education every faculty all right should find the ability to get possibilities to make every student employability in higher education right. every teacher it's not about the one director or every teacher right. should have the ability to find the possibility to make my students get employability right now i was thinking hey this is my job right how do i bring the statements i just some people say hey sam sir you are just playing with words yeah i said playing with words but i'm making sense right you're not a, no you also know the word you know ability you know employable but did you ever think that word right. so uh you need to write i keep writing but before i make it out i i have some mentors you know everyone should have mentors okay. it's not that i know everything right so the problem with the present tense is mere ko sab aata hai you know nene pata devuni you know so that's a wrong note notion ask people i ask people hey how do you feel and i ask more the best thing what i learned on one of my mentor maybe you should interview me next time he is is an amazing author from uk he is a brit okay. is a white he is called derek shishaya he okay. is an amazing author of creativity innovation uh-huh right i'll connect him to you should definitely so he taught me one thing you know we both are in touch with last 7 10 years right i used to bring him to india to chennai and we used to have him on our visiting professor role he taught me one thing sam anything you want to uh, learn better one write it down yeah. two share it with the younger generation and ask for feedback okay he never told me share it with the seniors right in our culture we say are pedo ladgo pedo ladgo bade log se pucho pedo lo pedo lo are bhai pedo lo pedo lo it's okay but and in education i am dealing with the next generation right you getting my point my life is for next generation so i should know what the next generation wants what are the needs what is a passion what is a mindset you know uh-huh. so if you can talk to them ma'am and get feedback so that's called in 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 hr that's called as reverse mentoring okay mentor is you asking some senior right reverse mentoring is i asking my junior okay. to reverse mentor me because you know i'm sure even kids nowadays you just ask them they say hey neeku idu kuda telida they'll say oh yeah because they bol they were there ter ko each nahi pata because they know it. they 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 will just play with it boss right they play disco dance on this but for us to touch it will take two generation <laughs> yes yeah so that's my thing ma'am i wish that you know self start ask ask anything to younger generation okay right yeah that's what i do i keep writing as the generation then i so maybe next time i'll since you are a coach i'll ask you hey uh, so the ma'am is it okay you know then yeah, yeah, i'm happy super happy even i love to play with the words yeah uh, right i'm into content development so yeah okay now coming like you just mentioned about self start and then sharing with the younger generations the 5g generation so that mm-hmm. would make everyone crowd apart i guess we will raise up to the you know excellence and we'll feel more confident in presenting ourselves so how you're talking about writing so let me ask you any literary works that you have uh, accomplished or anything that no, no, no 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 i tried but i'm bad i'm not a literature guy i didn't do english as my major but i admire my english teachers you know this writing i need to tell you how did it come to me mm-hmm. my english teachers from school i studied in maharashtra uh-huh. okay. uh huh so my english teachers really you know wo jab baat karte na hum log like are baap re you know we used to like right that ah like that we used to watch because we don't know that much of language and every english teacher they know how to carry themselves they know how to talk they know how to, 
So that came into my mind. And they used to tell me, hey, Sam, right? Because I should not write. But I remember my ma'am, Jeffrey ma'am, I should definitely, she's still there. We keep in touch. Okay. Um, yes, ma'am, my uh, Satya Sam, Bula Satya ma'am, they all are amazing teachers. Okay. Yeah. So they're still in a shock. Samuel Johnson, he's into education, you know? Okay. They never believe because, yeah, it's so. Kind of fast, I guess. <laughs> writing comes from. I should dedicate it to my English teachers, right. but I didn't write. Answering your question, I don't uh, No, uh, Apart from quotes and apart from um, content development right. of my HR and management and yeah, okay. I write on those things. Wow, that's so much from you about your uh, writing quotes, which are pretty sensational. I've read few of them. Simple, it's subtle, like but very meaningful. Which one you, you, you like? Anyone, which one? Uh, the one, um, the fruit one, which you just said, and some quotes you have sent me. I really loved it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So um, let's talk something more about your uh, musical passion. Oh yeah. Yeah. That I cannot, you know, leave you leave aside because yeah. you have different talents and you travel length and breadth. You speak languages. You meet people. So music definitely might have uh, given you a great, you know, relaxing or sure. made you a popular in your group. So what sort of music do you play, sing? Okay, so I, I would like to add on to the statement, is it popular? Uh, I learned from one of the great speakers called T.D. Jakes uh, from the U.S. He said, um, you should always try to be effective mm -hmm. and not famous. I repeat again, it's okay. by T.D. Jakes, not by me, but... Uh, you should always try to be effective, right. not famous, because if you're famous, that means you are effective and effectiveness is a byproduct of famous. Vice versa. So, so don't try to be famous first. Right. Try to be effective, automatically you'll be famous. Okay. So that so coming to the point of music, yeah, coming to the point of music, I, I never knew guitar, so I used to be like, wow. When, when I used to see in my schools, my seniors, again, I get back to, you know, schooling is so important. So in my school, uh, I remember my, um, I told you my Jeffrey teacher, so her husband, uh, Jeffrey uncle used to say, he's our music teacher. So it was compulsory for us to learn an instrument, compulsory, I, I repeat the word. Okay. Not an option. Uh -huh. right. So anything, we have harmonium, tabla, vocal, uh -huh. uh, we have Western, we have Indian. Right. So my gaon ka you know, I wanted to do some guitar, guitar, okay. but it is not easy. Right. But from fifth standard, we started, um, yeah. And in my village, in back in my village, I used to see, you know, when every morning there'll be one guy who's, who comes with announcements with a dappu, you know. Oh, yeah. They'll go street by street and announce. Right. Landi, market landi, right, right. Landi, like that. I don't know now, but I'm talking about ages, yeah. 80s. Yeah. And, yeah, 80s, maybe. Yeah, 80s, yeah. So... Uh, after that, you know, we left and came to North and all that. So, okay, huh? And that Dappu also inspired me from childhood because I used to see that guy he get in the point. Right. And another thing, what really inspired me is my, all my families or anyone school. They said, "Hey, if you don't study, <laughs> you have to become on the road." Oh my God! <laughs> music, or you have to play it in the wedding. You know. Okay, the band. Yeah. Guy. So utna niche dal de the. Okay. Then I thought, no, 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 so this is not the way. Right. And that made me like, I have to learn music. Okay. But music is not going to be my bread and butter. Okay. Because I knew I need to study, I need to work hard. Because I don't have a background, you know. Right. So then I started guitar. Because if you learn guitar, you can automatically learn keyboard, little effort. Right. I'm telling you the family, you know, guitar. Yeah. Guitar, family, I'll tell you. Saxophone. Okay. Yeah. Mouth organ. You did a, a talk with the Moth Organ guy yes, from Sudan. Yes. yes. Moth Organ, saxophone, keyboard. These are all family. It's called one family. Okay. But guitar, I thought it's easy. Okay. You need to learn that because it's all the same scale. Guitar uh -huh. together, this is like this. Yeah. Like but unfortunately, my, yeah, it's the same scale. It's okay. it's a family. Okay. Same, same, same. Okay. Yeah. But then you come to the other side of it. Like I'm into percussion. I'll show you now. Yeah, uh, on the video because okay. my guitar is out but I, I'll what I'll do is I'll just quickly 
Uh, can you just give me enable share the screen that option I there? I doubt we can share any videos through Zoom. I guess. No, no, not in Zoom. You just need to uh, you uh, make me as a co-host or host anyone so that I can give it back to you. Okay. It's easy right now. Uh, for example, you have my name. Just right click there on on the participants. Okay. Click on the participant on the right hand top. You got my name, Samuel Johnson. Oh, I got your name. Ha. Huh. So there's something called more, more. Mm. On the, not on the photo, uh, down, let's go there. Down there's two participants, right? Yes. Yeah, click on that now, on the participants icon. Okay. On the right hand, you got two lists. Sure. Yeah, now you go to my name, on the right hand, you will see. Yeah. Oh, okay, make host. So you can go to more. What is it saying now? Ha, ah, now you see there. Yeah, thank you. I just got it. Okay, are you able to see that on the screen now, YouTube? Now everybody can see it. The interview below can see. Can you see there? Yeah. Okay, so if I go to YouTube and just put Samuel Johnson VIT music, mm -hmm. just the keywords. All right, you can see oh, yeah. all this here. So this is the drumming passion video. Okay. So this is, we are teaching the fisherman community. So we were teaching fishermen community in Chennai okay. so that they know how to drum, get some money. Because in India, I found street music uh, is not much entertained. Okay. But abroad, it's so much welcome. Right. Yeah. So that is there. And now during pandemic, I'm teaching guitar. Oh, wow. There, uh, I'm teaching. Okay. So a lot of things. And we started making instruments. Uh, this video will tell you how do you know which year is it, Sudha? Can you see there the year? It's 2014 and I don't know where it yeah, is. August 10, 2014. That time there was no pandemic. Okay. So I go to villages, take my camera, take my guitar. So my vision is because mm -hmm. I never had an opportunity to buy, I don't want the rural villages to think like that. Okay. So we go there and do competitions. Can you see there? Okay. They're playing on the board. Can you see? Yeah. Oh, that's you. They're playing with bucket. So I have a concept that bring whatever you have will uh -huh. make music. Okay. Because music has a rhythm and rhythm is life. Yeah. Wow. So they, they play, you see there. Right. And we don't bring any discrimination between boys and girls. Uh -huh. People say in India, boys should not play this, girls should not do this. Right. You know, this is amazing. See here. So it's a jamming session going on, I guess. Okay. Can you see girls playing there? Yes, yes. So what what I tell, okay, I'm going to stop here. I can show later. Okay. Uh, the reason I'm saying this is music can change people, number one. Two, music has nothing to do with caste, creed, religion. Right. Right. Music is common to all, to whichever religion you belong to. Right. Music has united everyone. So can we do something like that? Can we work uh, in such a way that, you know, we, we, we make things, uh, you know, more meaningful uh, to people and uh, do in such a way that you can, you can bring people together with music. Right. Yeah, you can. Uh, so what we did in villages is, again, these are my new initiatives. Right. So we teach them with what they have. Then after six months, we put a competition. Mm -hmm. If they win the competition with what they have, right. bucket, plate, anything, then they get a real instrument. Wow. As a gift. That's rewarding. So then when, when we give them like that something, so then they become crazy. Yeah. So right. I have my own classmate who's Sunil Kashyap. Maybe you should definitely put him in your panel of interviews. Right. He's music director. We both were classmates in intermediate. Uh -huh. He's from Andhra. He's, he's done music... Um, He's a Telugu music director now. Oh, is it? We used to play on benches once upon a time because we can't afford to have music. Right. I think that Sunil Kashyap. He's done, uh, yeah, quite a good couple of movies with Puri Jagannath and all this stuff. Yeah. Okay. And it's an amazing. Thing. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so we are doing, see, what we did in a bench in a school and class has become, so he also did MBA, then he went to music. Yeah. I came into teaching, yeah. So he did a very good movie called Loafer, you know. 
Okay. And still he's doing a lot. Just put Sunil Kashyap, you get it. So what I'm saying is music unites, you know. Right, absolutely. So, I'm a Christian, he's a Brahmin, but we always do amazing work. Right. So faith is individual, but music unites absolutely. all of us, irrespective of caste, creed. So if that we can promote. Uh, the reason I do drums is because it is Indian, uh, it is in Indian blood, you know. Percussion. Indian yeah, percussion. So, yeah. Beautiful. Uh, absolutely. Uh, like It's astonishing to know that with such minimalistic things, you can make music and unite people and, you know, uh, separate the disparities. Wow. That's awesome, actually. Well, so that's a wonderful, uh, you know, sum up of all your activities that you've been doing from a digital coach to student communities, serving teachers, helping them to upgrade themselves followed by you doing something to the society through music. And here comes yet another interesting segment, rapid question round. So are you ready for that? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward. Right. So how is your typical day? Typical day starts now because it's pandemic, get up late right. and work late night. Okay. Because that is the time where I don't have calls, no disturbance. Right. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, take up your bicycle, work, go, Cycle up five five kilometers ten kilometers fitness work, right. come back, uh, yeah. help you, help your family in all the work, uh, even washing vessels because servant is not there now. We are all pandemic. Right. So typical days, yeah, it goes into reading, it goes into time, taking rest and taking a me time. You know, there's something called me time. Right. It's for me. It's my time. I want to reflect on my work. But ensure that you're balancing your both family life and personal life. And right. So that's how my day goes off. And yeah. And saying thank you to at least some people in the world and making them smile should be a part of the day. Right. Yeah, that's my day goes off. Yeah. So you're a nocturnal? Like, are you a night person? Yeah. Yeah. Seems yeah. so. Right. So what's the fun in training teachers? The fun what? in training teachers is yes. when teachers tell me, sir, I got it, you know, I didn't do it, but now I do. that's fun, you know. Yeah. Yeah. The so childlike attitude when they rush to you, right? Yeah. Yes. I can feel it. Yes. Yeah. Right. So what baffles you? What confuses you? What confuses me is uh, confused people confuses me. <laughs> people are so confused. They confuse me a lot. Right. Because I'm very clear, but people are confused over what they confuse me. Right. So you had any, uh, any uh, by chance, any incidences like that, that people... Oh, could... yeah. So many people are... So that's why today, today is my quote, if you see in my state, is today. Right, today. This morning, you know. Never expect hope from a hopeless person. Okay. <laughs> that answers my question. What baffles you? Yeah. <laughs> right? So if you, you are also into outbound training, right? Yeah. And, uh, I've seen a few videos of you that you are doing wonderful thing with outbound training with your teams so if you have now that we are on social distancing and you have no way to go so if you can give a virtual tour to your outbound participants which place would you take them virtual okay uh, online we have so many virtual simulation games okay where it's a scenario based we have business simulators we have bts we have uh, uh, marketing simulators we okay. have uh, uh, mvacrystalball.com. I don't know if you people have visited okay. the website. I'm using that from 2002 for my okay. PGTs, MBA Crystal Ball. They have simulations, so they have scenarios. For uh -huh. example, there's a mountain at the so and so right. height, you know, uh, you need to climb at so and so time, and then you need to do this. So, whatever we do physically, you have to do it on virtually and then get a score. So, now we are working all on simulations because, right. as social distancing, as you rightly said, Sudha, we can't go out. We right. can't. Yeah. Then, uh, how about the most memorable incidents in your, or at least in this short span of time? Any incidences? Are you saying about in, in now the, during pandemic? Yes. During pandemic. Anytime, anytime that's most memorable for you. The most memorable is when, okay, when uh, I showed you a video, right? That students playing on. Right, right. Yeah, on the ground. So this happened, I guess, I don't know, in the month of last year, 2019, I get a call and say, um, Anna, do you remember me? I said, okay. I don't know. Okay. It happened to be one of the boys sitting in that ground 
2014 he was a school kid okay now he said anna i am in georgia doing my medicine second year and still i am playing drums still i am playing guitar now where is that village boy whom we taught 2014 and now he is doing second year means he finished school i would have met him when he was in high school yeah so he is uh, glen and today he said anna you won't remember me but i am doing this i am so happy i saw you online and you see how the world is so right. much right i totally forgot to be honest with you with that but that is something so happy that okay what you did somewhere in 2014 that's why i say you need to keep the roots very strong right. so that the fruit is sweet sometime somewhere right so that's quite rewarding for teachers as a lifetime achievement you know like when students come back and tell you that i'm so true, true. now that gives me a question to you does rewards and honors really matters for teachers for an educator for a say for educators it doesn't matter okay for me it doesn't matter at all okay. for example september 5th there's somebody who call up and say hey we saw your work online and we want to give you asian education award blah 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 so see i tell about education and rewards run behind quality huh. quantity will come running behind you right I repeat again right. uh, run behind quality quantity will come behind you so the uh, rewards and all that that's why i say you have to be effective and not famous famous right yeah it's you're not doing something to be famous you need to do something to be effective okay. this is rewards awards will just come on your own right. you need not run behind them right they need to run behind you as an educator that's my talk here today i know it's a very hard talk but right. uh, don't don't just run behind them man let them run behind you right right and the you know the dhairyam passion gettu na tamil la solra gettu irukonu and you know dhairyam irukonu College out, Allah. Getting the point. Oh, uh, getting the point. Yeah. You are into multilingual uh, conversation. I can speak. I can speak seven Indian languages. Seven Indian languages. Right. And how about international? Apart from English. Okay. Two. Right. Basic yeah. French. Basic Spanish. Okay. Basic to survive. Okay. Just to run the show. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. How about books? Do you read books? Oh, so many now. Would you love to recommend one, anything for first-time readers? Disrupt and, and conquer. Disrupt and conquer. This is a story of uh, I don't know. Do you have cooker in your home? Cooker. Yeah. Prestige cooker. Yes. Ah, you. Yes. In house have household yeah, have. This is, this is called TTK Group. Can you see this? Oh, TTK Prestige. Okay. I never knew that you'll ask me this question, but it's on my table because okay. I'm reading this now. Okay. This is the founder of TTK Group. Okay. and you should be aware and many people don't know at least to interview people know the gasket you know the gasket yes the ring was first invented in the world by ttk, TTK group we should be proud it's right. a big invention right. yeah so this is called disrupt and conquer he did not say sleep and conquer look at the book yeah disrupt and conquer i i request everyone to get it i you can it's, it's in penguin it's about um, 599 bucks it's it's amazing so you know it's, it's not just about reading and buying i don't know you can you can i can even show you see even if it's chapter 1 i have something did i mark something and there and can think okay did i mark something oh yeah did i mark something okay can you see there yeah. marking writing down right right this is in my blood you want to be more effective you need to read write read write read write so this is something which otherwise there's so many other things called ikigai ikigai ah, um japanese or there's another good being good book called how to win friends and influence people the same dale carnegie has written because i was certified under dale carnegie programs uh how to win and influence uh not just friends but teens that's for teenagers you know okay an amazing book you should yeah definitely read it people can take it up means i'm talking about for the school yeah for the first timers first time the same, the same dale carnegie one uh, for the first time it will be amazing yeah so ikigai disrupt and conquer and a lot more but yeah books i have a huge library of books which right. you can even see there i don't know whether right or there's that, some books over there some that's for, that's for the next week it's piled up yeah okay so everything is planned pre-planned what to read yeah. what to because write because it's written in the telugu or movie i don't know any movie in, say em chesano plan chesano plan panadatha panano basically 
Okay. Plan, plan. Yeah. Plan, plan before you do something. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, so you nailed your uh, rapid question round. I hope you enjoyed. Yep. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. Beautiful. So we come to know a lot many things about books, especially for the first time readers. And this is my first time to know that we have discovered something that we use in our household, you know, which yeah. becomes very normal for us. Yeah. We don't regard that because it's part of our house now, right? So we will definitely go through that book you mentioned, recommended. Yeah. With that takeaway, I'm going to the next segment, rhetorical question. We're almost to the end of the talk. So, um, yeah, if you're stranded in any island, how would you see the situation? I would just go around and eat whatever I get, sleep wherever I can, okay. just enjoy and right. think if there's somebody who's going to come and rescue, rescue me, it's okay. But I'm going to enjoy every moment if I'm stranded. Wow. So any No complaints, no regrets. Right. Just because I know I'm stranded, right? right. So true. Just, just go around, see around. That's all. Right. You'll just go with the flow. You have to. There's no other way. Because you gave me a scenario, you're stranded. <laughs> if I'm not stranded, then there's 10,000 ways. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So as you go with the flow and we are at the end of today's pep talk, any suggestions and comments on pep talk? Oh, wonderful. So uh, if, 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 if others can learn something what, uh, you know, so the ma'am is doing, uh, if, if others can take up this kind of, because this pep talks gives you like, uh, you know, identify right people, give that those, because I need to thank you. Uh, you know, it takes time to go get people, you know, and you take a lot of effort. So if audience can learn something, uh, like uh, so the ma'am's page and share share this you know it's just a click of button you know share it and uh, we can do a lot of work and i'm sure if this talk gives some people some meaning you know we can do the best and uh, so the ma'am keep doing my only suggestion is keep doing what you're doing thank just you keep doing what you're doing because it's not and that when you say different rajmante i was like eh? you know are they doing this so that that you know seriously that part but so happy to see the work what you're doing may all your students you know learn the best and since you're a business coach education coach and um, language especially uh, maybe many people may go through you abroad do best and you know i'm sure you will be an amazing uh, impactful person so that's what i saw and that's my message that keep doing what you're doing that's all thank you very much for that word that's a kick start and never going to stop the things yeah. have started, it's going on, rolling on. That's yeah. the takeaway that I get from each guest who make two pep talk. Any sign off message to my viewers? Ah, yeah. Sign off message is do your best, God will do the rest. If you don't do your best, God is going to take rest. And you will become rust. You, I'm saying you. Okay. Whoever is watching. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So do your best, whatever you do, God will do the rest. Right. If you don't do your best, God will take a rest right. and you will get rest. That's the final message. So beyond this, ah, I can give you, you already rest. said it. That's enough. Uh, that statement makes more sense if people are taking it in the right way. Well, thank you very much, Samuel, sir, for taking your time to pep talk. And I really enjoyed thank you. Uh, many things. <laughs> the book is definitely going to be, you know, into my bookshelf soon to be on the book to be read. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you thank for you. joining the talk. Bye, sir. Thank you. It's such a joy. Uh, thank you so much. Nandri, Namaskaram, Vandanalu. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, people, back to you all again. That was Samuel Johnson, sir, the professor who spoke length and breadth about how to be, how not to be, be a self starter. There is nothing like that. Being like you just be the way you are, get into blended teaching, get into knowledge acquaintance enjoy your day enjoy music and anything to everything can produce music right and you never know who's watching you so you will be the next person who might call us and say hey we are somewhere and we had something we learned and something we have taken from this pep talk i'll be back again and like sir has mentioned please don't forget to share like subscribe my youtube channel that i've started just with the series you know with the proper playlist of June, July, August, and September. Each playlist has its unique guests 
sharing their insights about their journeys and accomplishments. So it's my humble request with love. I can even order because everybody loves each, each other. And with that, I'm going to end today's pep talk. I'll be back again with yet another interesting personality who will be sharing their amazing journey as teachers. Bye-bye for now. Thank you.